Well, hi, welcome back. This is Scott Weatherford. I'm with uh, two girls. This is the A4J, All for Jesus podcast for students by students. And I'm with these two girls again. You guys were recently with me on the podcast. Uh, who are you again? What is your name? Um, Abby. Abby. Andrea. And Andrea. Hmm. Known both of these girls literally all their lives. But you haven't known me all my life because you're not ancient anyway. <laughs> so we're going to talk about today about a subject I think every student struggles with, and that's putting things off. Yeah. Procrastination. Doing, not doing what you need to do, but doing what you, well, what you don't need to be doing. So let's talk about that. Do you guys struggle with putting things off? Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Uh, why do you think that is? Why don't you, like, just get it done? Oh, I feel like. If you knew the answer to that, you would be talking about that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Maybe sometimes there's, like, other opportunities to, like, hang out with my friends or oh, do something. And I'm just okay. like, oh, I'll just do that when I get home. So maybe a little fear of missing out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if, you, if you got tied down to this, you'd miss out on that fun. And there's right. always something else coming up. Yeah. What about, like, when you have big assignments to do? Do you, do you like, put that off and, like. Because I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Okay. Don't want All right. To. Uh, what, what makes you not want to do it? What, what's going on in your brain with that? They're either, like, they're time-consuming right. or difficult right. or stressful. Uh, okay. Or you just, like, sometimes, like, I have an assignment in front of me, and I'm like, this is going to take me forever to do. I just don't want to do it right now. Yeah, because you look at the time factor, and then you say, mm -hmm. okay, well, this yeah. is just, like, way too much. Right. Yeah. So let me say this to you, okay? Right now in your life is the simplest time of your life. What do you think? Think that's true or not true? It's probably true. We don't have as many responsibilities and demands. So, right. mm -hmm. so procrastination that's not dealt with early could become a problem later, mm -hmm. right? It's, yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think are some skills you could do to learn to stop putting things off? Think. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> if you knew that, you would be exercising it, right? <laughs> yes. We're just really trying to plan out your day and manage your time. Oh, yeah, really really you're time managing you. You man, you can't make more time. Right, yeah. unfortunately. Let me tell you some things I've learned, okay, since okay. we're talking about this. Um, I have a really, really busy life, okay, <laughs> really busy. I have a lot of things to do, a lot of things. And, I, and I'm, I'm kind of like you guys. I like to have fun. I like to be around people. You know, if everybody's going to go do something, I want to go do it with them. And I've got all these things I got to do. Then, um, then it just kind of limits that. So what I started doing is making lists. Oh, I do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I do that so I don't forget. Right. And, but it also helps me to say, okay, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys both know Miss Tara, my wife, right? Yes. And she is the absolute ultimate <laughs> let's get it done kind of person. And I've learned from her. She's taught me how to prioritize and to get things done. Now, I'm a guy, and I'm not a multitasker. I have a, my brain only works in one direction, <laughs> one thing at a time. You girls, because they get this, guys. When a little girl's be in the moon, womb being formed, she has her brain is fully connected on both sides. When a little boy becomes a little, little boy, testosterone washes over his brain. It kills connectors between our brains. So all of us boys are brain damaged by testosterone. That makes sense. Yeah. So you, you <laughs> girls see everything, and us boys see one thing. And you girls can multitask. Us guys cannot. So let's back to procrastination. I'm glad I gave that neuroscience lesson. <laughs> but putting things off. do it it's worse than if i would have just done it sooner and it's usually not as good right 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 so prep, prep proper preparation produces perfect performance mm -hmm. so think about that so let's think about some skills let's think about okay what's some skills we can give to students about procrastination what can we do to stop putting things off 
Um, I think when I've started, I feel like I used to be like really, really bad at procrastinating. So you're just but I'm mod- moderately bad now. I think I'm just moderately <laughs> bad at procrastination yeah. now. But I think sometimes, like with big school assignments or things that I know ahead of time are going to take me a while, I work on them in smaller parts. Oh, perfect! So yeah. I can still do some of the things that I want to do because it doesn't take up such a big amount of time. But right. if I can spread it out, it becomes less stressful for me. Okay. Bite size. Yes. Mm-hmm. Take mm-hmm. things in bite size. That's great. That's a great skill. Uh, what else? Anything else? <laughs> Have y'all ever heard of the term, the tyranny of the urgent? No. It means when things are pressing, that creates an anxiety that makes you things be urgent. So if you could remove the tyranny from it, the urgency from it, by not making it last minute, it really helps you do the task. Like if you get an assignment, like you said, like you have a writing assignment, you have a paper due. Mm -hmm. You say, okay, I want to start working on this paper a bit at a time. And then you even get done quicker and it takes you less time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when I, of course, I've had a lot of school. I've been to a lot of school. I know you, it's hard to believe, but I've yeah. got a, a lot of education, <laughs> educated beyond my intelligence. But um, I had to memorize 300 pieces of music. Wow. That's yeah. And then I had to memorize scores of music to conduct it. Oh. And so I had to memorize all the orchestral parts and all the pieces and the movements and blah, blah, blah. So I had a lot of memory work I had to do. A lot of memory work. Then I went to seminary and I had to memorize 77 scriptures in seven weeks. Wow. So what did I do? Bite at a time. Mm -hmm. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. And when you do a little bit at a time, it it sticks in your brain. If you try to push it all in, if I like on week seven was going to memorize 77 verses at week seven, it ain't going to happen. Yeah. But if I worked on it a bit at a time, it works. So... Slow and steady right. wins the race. But also think about this. Think about a word called, actually two words, delayed gratification. What that means, yeah. if you get it done, you can play more later. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I've been telling myself recently. So it's a re- reward right. for getting this done. Like I can't go hang out with my friends until I actually do Right. This. Mm-hmm. And that takes discipline. Right. But also takes accountability. Like if you two said, okay, we're going to hold each other accountable for this. If we actually do yes. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, like Last me Sunday. and Andrew will be like, we're going to go home. We're, literally this past Sunday, we were like, we're both going to go home. We're going to do our assignments and then we can go play pickleball or then we can go mm-hmm. hang out and yeah. do whatever. That's that's exactly right. So you delay it because you're going to be rewarded by it. And then you, and it creates a desire to get it done, mm-hmm. so you're going to get it done. Right. Yes. Yeah, get it done. So accountability, delay gratification, uh, realizing the procrastination produces anxiety. Mm-hmm. Did you know that? Yeah. So it starts that cycle of, you know, mm-hmm. bad things, your brain going off in the middle of the night, you know, the, the nasty sweats and things like that. So, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty important. So, okay, what advice? Let's give some advice to, to our students listening. What about procrastination? First of all, we are not perfect about this, are we? No. no we're still learning, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So you think identifying it should be the first step? Like, right. I have yes. a problem here. Yes. So what do you what do you think some of the solutions? Okay, we talked about bite-sized pieces, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. Delay gratification. Um, rewarding yourself mm-hmm. for do, getting things done. Yeah. And the, the accomplishment, I, I, I did that. Mm-hmm. What, what else? Um, accountability, like telling your friend, like, to help you keep like that helps you keep you accountable like if you tell other people and you know that someone else is doing it with you like that always helps me yeah it's like if i know that i'm working and someone else is also working it makes me feel like i'm not missing out on as much yeah in fact you might even could do it as a team sport Mm -hmm. you know get together and do your studies do your writing do whatever you need to do right like uh, and there's some things you know what's going to happen guys right now with school um the assignments are going to be the, the heavy thing. But when you get into you know, the adult world, it's going to be relationships. Mm-hmm. It's going to be conversations. It's going to be you're going to put things, push things off. Like if, you, if you're if you married and your husband's grumpy and you procrastinate about talking to it, it's just going to make it worse. Mm-hmm. So, you know, yeah. deal with it. There's an old antage of, you know, eat crow while it's warm because cold crow <laughs> sticks in your throat. So deal with the problem quicker. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and people problems are the most messy problems. Right. So don't put things off. Now, for me, I don't know if you guys know this, I have to do a lot of preparation. Did y'all know that? A lot of studying. And if I put it off, I lose my mind. Mm -hmm. The and longer, like the longer you wait, the more it's going to weigh on you right. in the end. Right. Just make it worse. So like, for example, the talk I'm giving to you guys on Sunday night, I have finished on Monday morning. Wow. Yeah. So you know why? So Sunday night, I could be the best you need me to be mm -hmm. because I've been prepared. Why do I do that? Why do you think I do that? Because you want to give us the best message possible. You don't want to give us your last minute. Leftovers, right? Right. Just yeah. talking out of my rear end, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, no, that's gross. Don't ever do that. Um, but do you think it's because I love you? Probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so when you think about that, do everything you can with love, with a reason, not putting it off, but getting it done, and then reward yourself by having fun. Mm -hmm. Get it done and have some fun is oh, a cure yeah. to procrastination. That was good. Yeah. It was. That was good. Did you hear that? <laughs> I got an A, and they didn't even put it off. So I hope this helps. You got, girls had fun? You enjoy yeah, it? Yes, sir. Okay, y'all come back and talk to me again? Right. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Hope this helps. Remember, A for J, tune in, share it. Uh, let's go viral with this. This is for students, by students, all for Jesus. So um, live your best life, right? Right. Don't put it off. <laughs> no.